I have said too much unto a heart of stone. It laid mine honor to and carry on it. Well, there's something in me that reproves my fault. But such a headstrong potent fault it is that if a mock's reproof, the same behavior that your passion bears goes on my master's grief. Here, wear this jewel for me. But is my picture, refuse it not. It hath no tongue to vex you. Oh, and I beseech you, come again tomorrow. What shall you ask of me that I'll deny? But I'll be saved, hey, by asking you. Oh, nothing but this. Your true love for my master. How? With my honor can I give him that which I have given you? That will acquit you. Well, come again tomorrow. Very well, a fiend like thee may bear my soul to hell! <laughs> Gentlemen, God save thee. And you, sir? The defense thou hast, they take thee to it. Of what nature are the wrongs thou hast done? I know not. But thy interceptor, full of despot, bloody is the hunter, attends thee at the orchard and Dismount thy tuck, be year in thy preparation. Thy assailant is quick, skillful, and deadly. You mistake, sir. I am sure no man hath any coil to me. My remembrance is very free and clear of any image of offense done to any man. Mm, you'll find it otherwise, I assure you. <coughs> Therefore, if you hold your life at any price, then take you to your guard. For your opposite hath in him what youth, strength, Skill and wrath can furnish man with all. Pray, right, sir, what is he? He is night, dubbed with unhatched rapier and on carpet consideration. But he is a very devil in private brawl. Souls and bodies hath he divorced three. And his incensement at this very moment is so implacable that satisfaction can be none but by pangs of death and sepulchre. Hognob is his word. Give it or take it. I will return again unto the house and desire some conduct of the lady. I am no fighter. I have heard of men that put quarrels purposely on others to taste their valor. Be like this is a man of that cork? Sir, no. His indignation derives itself out of a very competent injury. Therefore, get you on and give him his desire. Back, you shout out to the house. Unless you undertake that with me, which, with as much safety, you might answer him. Therefore, on, or strip your sword stark naked, or meddle you must. That's for certain, or forswear to wear iron about you. This is as uncivil as straight. I beseech you, do me this courteous office as to know of the night my offense to him is, to something of my negligence. Nothing of my purpose! I will do so. I beseech you. What the matter of man is he? Why, man, he's a very devil! I have not seen such a farrago. I had a passive him, rapier, scabbard and all, and he gives me the stucking with such a mortal motion that it is inevitable. And on the answer, he pays you as surely as your feet hits the ground they step on. <laughs> they say he has been fencer to the sofa. Oh, pox on it! I'll not meddle with him. Aye, but he will not now be pacified. Plague <laughs> on it! And I thought he'd been so valiant and cunning in bed, so I'd have seen him damn that I challenge him. <laughs> let him let the matter slip, and I will give him my horse, Great Capital. I'll make the motion. Stand here, make a good show on it. This shall end without the perdition of souls. Mary, I'll ride your horse as well as I ride you. Come, sir, there's no remedy. He will fight with you for his oath's sake. Mary, he hath better forgotten of his quarrel, and he finds that scarce to be worth talking of. Therefore, draw for the supportance of his vow. He protests, he will not hurt you. Pray God defend me! A little thing would make me tell them how much I lack of a man. Come and surrender, there's no remedy. The youth will, for his honor's sake, have one bout with you. He cannot buy the duello, avoid it. 
But he has promised me as a gentleman and a soldier, he will not hurt you. Come on, do it. Pray God we keep his oath. I do assure you, it is against my will. Put up your sword. If this young gentleman have done offense, I take the fault on me. If you offend him, I for him defy you. You, sir? Why, what are you? One, sir, that for his love dares yet do more than you have heard him bribe to you he will. Nay, if you be an undertaker, I for you. <laughs> Necessity, denying a coward, most devout and religious in it, a slip, 
I'll laugh to him again and beat him. Oh, do cut him slowly, but never draw thy sword. And I do not. Uh, come, let's to the event. Now, I dare lady money, will be nothing yet. 